Hi, it's Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky again. I know I had promised you weeklies, um, some technical issues stepped in, and uh, anyway, here we are. And I wanted to announce that we have a, a name. And I want to thank everybody who submitted names for this weekly meeting with you, this weekly address. We're going to do Jan's Pan, okay, Jan's Plans and Pans. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I have positives, sometimes not so much. Anyway, a um, couple things I wanted to talk to you about today. I am wearing orange, mostly, today. And the orange is uh, relating to gun violence. Um, one of the girls that was, was murdered, what, her favorite color was orange, and it's kind of become the color of the gun violence prevention movement. Um, and so uh, we had a, a press conference, Nancy Pelosi was uh, there, and, and lots of photos. So I wanted to explain that first because you're, you may be wondering, why does she have an F on her chest? And that is because I am proudly showing the grade I get from the National Rifle Association. That's what I get um, pretty much every year. Oh, every year. Um, and, and I'm proud of, of that. And I believe that the politics of gun violence now has really changed. Of course, we had that terrible um, incident again in, um, in, Virgin in Virginia, and you know, who knows what will be next. And then there were 58 people shot in Chicago last weekend. I think 10 of them are dead. The daily violence that we face. Have to work on, on that. Um, yesterday I wore white because it was the 100th anniversary of the day that the United States Congress voted um, for women's suffrage. We don't say giving women the vote where when women won the right to vote. Of course, after it passed the Senate, which was uh, 100 years yesterday, the House had already passed it, it had to go out to the states and get 36 states to uh, ratify and that finally happened, it'll be uh, next year, 2020, some in August. Um, and so this is a very, very special moment. The women's suffrage movement went on for 72 years. A number of the women who were involved early on never lived to see that happen, but they persisted. They're, uh, I'm standing on their shoulders, all of us are, all of us women who, who vote. But you should also know that when women's suffrage finally did pass, African American women, Native American women, were not included. It took years for that to happen. So we're still in this fight to protect the right to vote, to protect the integrity of the, uh, uh, of the vote. Um, this uh, movement continues on. And then yesterday was a very good day in the House of Representatives because we, kept, we passed what is called the Dream and Promise Act. The Dream Act, reinstating the idea that people who have come to the United States as children, who have made the United States their country, that those people that we call dreamers will be protected from deportation, will be able to get permanent status, will be able to be eligible for college loans, will be able to pursue their careers without the fear constantly hanging over them. It also applied to people who have been here on temporary protective status. A number of our neighbors, for example, from um, Haiti, um, are now protected from deportation. Many of those people have been here for 10 to 18 years. They have families, they have businesses, their children are, are citizens in, in, in this country. So it was, um, there were a lot of people in the gallery cheering, and of course in our district, the 9th Congressional District, where 40% of the residents speak a language other than English at home, this was a very important step forward, but just the beginning, let's remember. We still have the crisis at the uh, border, we still have a lot of undocumented people who fear every day that they're going to be um, deported from this, this country. We still have the anti-immigrant rhetoric that we hear coming out of the, uh, the White House. 
Um, and so we have a long way to go. I take it personally as a uh, first generation American myself. Neither of my parents was born in the United States of America and their daughter is now in the United States Congress. Um, and the best of the best come to the United States because they are willing to leave their countries. They're willing to come here and work hard. Some of them are fleeing violence. We have to do better because no matter what the President of the United States says, we are a nation of immigrants. And that is what makes us great. So I'm happy to talk to you this week. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you so much.